Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming with more Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance, playing as the French Empire. We are making some significant pushes against the German Reich. We are very close to Berlin at this point. Little bit more and we'll have them, but he is now deploying a lot of troops up here to try and defend his capital. Which makes sense, but if he's going to do that, then I'll take advantage of it and continue to push anywhere where I can possibly get uh, some of his factories and his industry down. I'll take it. I'm not above it. I will absolutely devour everything you've got, Germany. See all those factories right there? I want them. I think that I deserve them, in fact. Let's go ahead and have some extra troops, making sure that these guys get pushed back. Little bit by little bit. Now I know... Oop, we're even closer to Germany now. Hang on. Um, I know that this video has been... Or sorry, this series has been getting a little bit slower as I do this war. And I think that that's understandable, given that this is fairly high stakes, all things considered. Are you guys set to aggressive? No. Why are you guys still attacking? Stop attacking, just defend. Ah, whatever. Just hold them back. I don't really care what they do. Alright, let's see. So he's pulling back some troops over here. I've got my organization back in a few places. Okay, I need you guys to stop. I need you guys to stop attacking for a second. Get that organization together. I need to organize a coordinated push. Okay? Mostly, I would like to get the tanks in the same approximate spot. Soviet Union annexes Tanu Tuva. Well, I mean, okay. Sure, if that's what you want to do. Alright, push here, push here. Your goal is to just meet up around the middle like this. Everything we've got comes down to this moment. I'm running out of planes, but we're going to get whatever air superiority we can over here to make it easier. We do actually have a bit. I have more troops I can deploy too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, struggling here now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, tank, get down here and help. Tank, get down here and help. You get over here and help. I need more tanks. Could pull these guys back. That's tempting. We've almost managed to push all the way up to Frankfurt, actually. Try for it. Crossing those rivers and whatnot. Okay, now we're not making enough progress over here after all. What changed, guys? One, two, three, four. Tanks here. One, two, three. Tanks there. Charles, send a couple more over here, please. I'm going to keep those guys contained in Denmark. We're going to make sure that the tanks have to be deployed in the same spot. Get your organization back. We're going to try again. Still looking okay over here. No problems. No problems. How many troops you got over here? Uh, he's got a fairly fairly even, well-spread-out front line. Might be able to make a couple of little pushes here and there, though. His tanks are definitely running out. He's got very little left. My anti-tank, you know, I've been using up a lot of it. But it's been inflicting some serious casualties on him, too. Attention. Got some pretty good concaves in a few areas. We should take advantage of that. I want you to pull off here. Come on. Moscow still hasn't fallen, but it is so very close. Let's go ahead and get some infantry and equipment design so we can get stuff a little bit faster. Attention. Can we possibly push him out of here and get some more surrounds to make him uncomfortable? Maybe... This is where I wish I had 40 combat with tanks. This would be so easy if I had the 40 combat with tanks ready. But I don't. I'm just going to wait for these tanks to arrive. 
Get a couple more down here. And we're gonna try again. Another coordinated push. Tanks only taking up all the combat width. Okay, we were able to hold on to some of that. Let's try put collapsing there. Can you guys collapse on Frankfurt and win? Maybe. Can't do that very easily. Can you guys go here? You guys go here? Possibly. Collapse here. He's got radar stations. Wouldn't mind taking that away from him. The fall of Leningrad. It's not quite the fall of Moscow like I was expecting, but I mean, it's not good for me. Okay, yellow. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Maybe not that tight. Not quite that tight. But still pretty tight. Uh, red. We can probably pull you back a little bit. You can move forward a little bit here. There we go. Okay, actually losing some of those fights. Thought we were going to win, but we did not. Something we could do, and should do, probably, is start seeking collaboration targets against the Germans. We can make resistance... Sorry, collaboration targets. No, resistance contacts. We can do this. An excellent chance of success, and we can try to meet some of the people who have been oppressed by the Germans and get them ready for a coup. Or at least some sort of an insurrection. All right, four tanks right here you'd think would be enough. But it is not, because you still have some pretty darn good entrenchment. Huh. Three soldiers fully entrenched. Oh, there's a river. I didn't even see it underneath these lines. There's a freaking river. Of course there is. There goes Moscow. All right. It's not what I wanted to see. We are going to start attacking around the river, try to find some way to get across it. If I can find a way across the river, we have a much better chance. And I think we can do that by attacking a little bit indirectly over here instead. It looks to me like we're going to be able to. I ask you to pin this guy down so he stops reinforcing, or trying to anyway. You guys are kind of getting pushed back a lot up here, I'm surprised. Let's try to cross this river here. You guys collapse here. Collapse here. No progress in Frankfurt, but oh well. With this fort being here, it might be a little bit difficult to cross, but we'll try. Nope, not there. Okay. About to make progress here. Okay, we're across the river. That means now we push here. That is going to look a lot better. Much better, I hope. I pray. Okay, you guys got to cross there. Good. Push here. Same exact story. Let's have someone else attack from these angles just so we can say we are technically attacking from multiple avenues and give myself a slight bonus. This is what it comes down to. It's these fights. Invest in West Africa is done. Nice, thank you. Uh, let's go for more investments in Indochina. Uh, no, Soviet Union, go away. Lend lease, sure. Support equipment. They figured out what I want, apparently. It's a lot of support equipment, but I'll take it. Am I out of support equipment? I might be. Non aggression pact to the United States probably doesn't do me a lot of good right now. Uh, we can split up a few of you guys. And send a few more to the front line for defense. Like so. Okay, here come reinforcements. What am I out of? I am out of support equipment. What do you know? Well then, yeah, as we continue building up factories, let's do that. We've got a lot of factories in production right now. A lot of factories in production right now. 
Why can't you guys not break through here? He shouldn't be entrenching too hard. I would think, anyway. My front line keeps falling apart here, basically. Somebody gives up because they run out of organization and they just give up. But if I keep attacking here, eventually we're going to force our way through, right? You guys also need to be doing this still. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't stop! Believe in infantry anti-tank. Well, that should make things a little easier. Uh, let's go for some recon. We're about to finish upgrading, uh, researching upgrades for our weapons. You guys can be a whole new army. I will set you up over here. With the intention of spearheading something. I don't know what. I'm not sure how effective it will be. But they're going to try, sure as heck, to get up to Prague. Somehow. Don't let him get his organization back, guys. Come on, you can do this. You are burning him down. I see that it's happening. He's not reinforcing as fast as we can just because I have the numbers that I can continue throwing at him. I'm I'm, this is basically how the Soviet Union plays. You throw bodies at the problem until it's no problem. Okay? That's what you do. Good. Upgrades for guns. Um, let's get some more excavation tech so I have more resources to work with. Come on. Almost got him. 97, 98, 99. Got it. Good. Okay, do not go through Berlin. Okay, these guys made it. Get across here. Quick, quick, quick. You guys pin him down. Don't let him go anywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's got a weak tank. I'm not worried about that freaking leopard tank. That leopard tank can't do a dang thing. Come on. You've almost got it. He's got no organization. You, pin this guy down. Don't let him help. Come on. Encircle Berlin. Starve the beast. Ugh. Man, this is getting really freaking frustrating. You guys go here. I don't care about this. I don't care about this neither. Or this. You all stay nice and concentrated now, you hear? Keep them pinned, keep them pinned. 87, 88, almost. He got more people in. Freaking, ah, Bulgarian cavalry. No one expected that one. I'm getting there. It's just, it's just, it's a slog, but I mean, I'm getting there. I know that I am. I'll send over as many reinforcements as it dang well takes. I'm not stopping until you freaking fall, dude. You are going to bow before me, Germany. You will bow. Vermin. That's my, well, I think my new catchphrase, by the way. Bow before me, vermin. It's great. No? No? Okay. Uh, Emu Empire, give me all your steel. Canada, give me all your steel. Britain, steel. Soviets. Steel. Too much steel, never mind. Okay, hey, hey, progress, progress. Okay, hold this back. You guys continue pushing right here. Almost got it, almost got it. You guys attack from this angle. Oh, come on. Come on, this has got to be it. Come on, get me a surround on Germany for the love of God. I know you want to. Got him. Okay, the war is over. The Germans haven't figured it out yet. But it's true. The war is now over. As long as I hold this. I will keep as many troops over here as possible. As many as I dang well need. I do not care. Everything sits here around Berlin and keeps it under lock and key for the rest of the dang game. Okay? 
make sure you hold on to some ground up here in the north. Obviously, don't want these guys pushing out. But with Berlin surrounded, they will fall. And everyone's canceling the lend lease because I guess I got enough support equipment or something. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Germans. So you are now down to 48% of the way towards capitulation. You know what would be funny is if I let the Soviets die so that once I take the Germans, all the major war participants are gone and I just annex all of Russia. A subject may soon raise its autonomy. The French Raj. Well, I cannot stand for that. No. It's because they're giving me too much stuff. They're giving me too much of their steel or whatever it is I'm taking. And I don't want them to raise their autonomy, dang it. I want to keep these guys under control. So maybe I should stop trading with them for so much. Trade with the United States. They're good buds. Not very good buds, because they can't deliver very well. How about the Soviets? Fine, I don't care. All right. Starving the beast. You guys are welcome to throw yourselves against me now if you want, by the way. I won't complain. Let's upgrade our artillery. It's time. Now we can start making some pushes, I think. Oh, sure, we might lose some of these pushes and stuff. But, at the end of the day, he can't regenerate his equipment anymore. And I can. Which means, even if I take some losses, we will eventually win. As long as I hold him back. What are you guys doing? No. Now, don't take Berlin. You're in a situation like this. The temptation is just grab the victory points. Sometimes they all want to do that. Don't do it. Because if you did, then all of a sudden you find yourself in a weird position where their capital has moved somewhere far away and the whole process starts all over again. By the way, we made absolutely no progress with these pushes, because of Go course we didn't. Attack. Can we get to Weimar or anything? I mean, geez. Wouldn't mind building myself a little bit of extra buffer space around Go Berlin through. just to be safe. Make me feel more comfortable about the situation. Like this? Can we do this? Just push him back a little bit. Give me some breathing room. I need air. I need some air. Hey, can you guys actually encircle a few troops right here? Because that would be great. You might be able to. Eh, it looks to me like they might be able to retreat. Nah. These still aren't very offensive base units, so they're not going to make a lot of progress. We are almost at Vienna. Which is a fun thought. Make some pushes over here, I guess. Nope, don't cross a river. Never mind. Rivers are death. Always fear the raging oh. rivers. Don't let these guys reinforce. Come on, stay out of Vienna. I want it. Come on, give me Vienna. Aww. All right. Whoa, what happened? Oh, God. Get over here. Forget everything else. Get over here. Kick him out. Kick him out. They got it out of Berlin. I moved too much. I moved too greedily and too deep. Or something. Wait. Is this open? I mm, can't tell if this is open. There's so many lines, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Okay, we may have made a horrible, grievous error. Because now, I got a lot of units stuck behind enemy lines, and also Berlin got free. I'm going to tell you guys to continue pushing here, just to slow them down a minute. Tanks, get over here, please. No, don't take Berlin. I'm still holding out hope that we can make this work. I'm just worried that these guys are going to run out of organization and they're all going to die. Come on, wherever they're weakest, break them. Right here is fine. I'm okay with this. Just break them. I do not want to get attacked here and then suddenly lose all my organization and lose my units. Okay, defensive units sit here. Okay, we're going to get it back. At least this area. And then everything coordinates right here. 
Come on, he can't have much. Three units with relatively low organization. We should be able to sh stomp on this, no problem, right? The answer is yes. We're gonna get control back of Berlin. That was just a slight mess up on my part. It's okay. It's, it's okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, you didn't see nothing. I just wanted to get myself a little bit of breathing space. That's all I wanted. It was it was a it was a well motivated thing, but it was wrong. I shouldn't have done it, and I feel stupid. Okay. Berlin's trying to escape, but they're not going to get very far. All these troops are going to redeploy once again, and we have control of Berlin. They are pushing me back very well in Denmark. They've got a lot of troops up here all of a sudden. What do they do? They train so many. Can you guys push it all now? I just need to cross this river. If you can get a foothold across this river, I think I'll be in a good position. We've invested in Indochina. Now we're going to invest in Syria. More factories? What do we need? Nothing, surprisingly, which means I should start training more units. Let's get some more self-propelled artillery and then a lot of tanks. What should we train? Good question. I mean, we're already training some more units here. Um, we'll train some 40 combat width. I do want to trade for some more oil, because right now I'm running a little low. Soviets, you've got some. Can I has? There we go. Thank you. That's enough oil to keep me going. We actually got a very tiny encirclement here. Oh, it's cute. I did mean to do that. That was intentional. I'm just surprised that I actually pulled it off. I have very little faith in myself. Hey, tanks! You've got practically no supply. Guess what? That means you're going to immediately lose your organization. Pew. Okay, sitting nicely there. Can you guys in any way push these guys out? Again, just buying a little bit of breathing space. This time I'm not going to screw it up. Probably. Soviets, how are you doing? You're still losing ground very rapidly. I'm okay with you guys capitulating at this point. I mean, I know it feels like I'm in a really bad position and I haven't made a lot of progress in this war, but I has. So it's okay. Let's see if we can actually push across this river here again. We actually did get a foothold, which is ideal. Let's see if we can do that some more. Notice all these troops are taking attrition right now. 7% in their own land. Oh my gosh, this is where the Germans collapse. This is it. This has to be it. Just gradually, slowly but surely. All we have to do is just sit back and wait. And they will lose everything they've got. You guys might be pushing a little too far, if I'm being completely honest. It's got a lot of forts kind of randomly over here. Is this a Sudenten land? Are we pushing up into the Kingdom of Bohemia? My little puppet? I think that might be exactly what we're doing. What do you know? Let's try to push into Linz. Attack from multiple angles over there. How are we doing in terms of plane coverage? Uh, I mean, we've lost almost every plane that I own. So, I'm just, I'm just gonna pull back and enjoy holding this area in a nice safe spot. Because I got, like, no tactical bombers left. I don't even know if I'm building any tactical bombers, really. How much close air support do I have? 727. I think it might be time to uh, retire the tactical bomber wing a little bit. And these guys too. And instead, we're just going to go ahead and set up a new air wing of close air support. Because I got a reasonable amount of that. And close air support is pretty good. Shocking, I know, but it's true. They're pretty good. Let's go ahead and build up that air wing, please. A little bit more. There we go. So if we can get enough air superiority, we actually can hold on to this area pretty well now. Can you guys push into Dresden? I'm not going to pull all the troops this time. I'm going to be very selective. Oh, look at that. Your morale's looking pretty low there, buddy. What, uh, what happened? What's going on there, Germany? Look at them. Look at them fall apart now. Uh-huh. It's like you don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know why I like trash talking the AI. What are they going to do? Deadly freaking squat, dude. 
All right, let's start pushing through here. Germany, how are you looking in terms of capitulation? You're still sitting at 52%. But we could take a whole lot more if I wanted to. Can you guys collapse on Linz, please? We gotta cross the river over here, too. Let's attack from this direction. Fully surrounded. Die, Linz, die! Uh, what else do we want? Chief of Air Force? Air superiority. Let's get another 5% going there. Oh, these units are all taking attrition and losing equipment, too. Oh, no. I think you guys all might be dying. I'm getting pushed back a little bit over here. There you go. Recon companies upgraded. Better tactics for me. Thank you. Let's go for the military police. Because I guarantee you I need a lot of garrisons right about now. He's got pretty low morale across the board. I think now is the time to push. Now is the time to push hard. Maybe not all of you, but a lot of you. You guys sit tight. There's still a lot of troops over here, and I need to make sure I hold on to this area. Now, if we win this war, we're sitting on only 46% participation, so the Soviets will get a lot. Again, I'm kind of wondering if I should just sit back and let the Soviets lose more. Capitals move down here to Stalingrad. That's going to fall pretty quick. Okay, the French East Indies just became a colony instead of a puppet. Probably sucks for me. I don't know. We're about to get some pretty serious encirclements, I think. Go down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely crushed. These are going to get all encircled and die. The Germans have nothing Bye. left. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're going to pull this off. Oh, I have been sitting here for like two and a half hours. It's not even my rec normal recording day. But I've been sitting here for like two and a half hours working on this. Like, obsessing over it. Because, God forbid, that I can't solve this puzzle. I had to work on it until I won. And here we are, looking like we might actually just do it. Can you guys possibly push all the way up here and get another encirclement? Collapse, collapse, collapse on everything they own and love. You guys go here. Yeah, instant death. Good news is we should actually get a lot more war participation by doing this, too. German Reich is falling. They're down to 75%. Now, the downside, of course, is... I mean, yeah, I'm stopping them from having equipment to fight me, but they also shouldn't be able to fight against the Soviets for much longer, either. So, I don't know. I, maybe I really don't want to finish off the Germans here. I mean, I'll take a bit, but, like, maybe I don't. Maybe I want to go spend my time fighting, like, Hungary and Romania and stuff, you know? Would that be worthwhile? Might. Still need more fighters and stuff. All right. Sure. Let's go hardcore on air superiority. Let's also get a frick ton more tungsten. And steel. That should be fine. Like, I can probably push over here and just, like, grab Bratislava and stuff now, right? Get the capital of Slovakia, make it easier for me. Just take more in the war deal, I think. A few more to kill. A few more. I mean, if I end the war, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Let's be honest. It's fine if I do. It's just a question of, could I possibly eke out a little bit more? I mean, the war is not really over until Japan is gone, either. Oh, Greater Hungary. They actually are considered a major war participant. Well, I guess I have to go kill Hungary. Well, if that's the case... No, I still want the Germans to continue fighting the Soviets. How are you guys even pushing against me? You've got no equipment. Excavation tech is done. More resources for me. Let's get mechanized going. We're going to get a lot of production out of this. I have 460 factories accessible to me now. 
I don't even understand how these guys are capable of fighting. They've got no equipment. Hey, what happened, by the way, with my whole making resistance contacts? Did we not do that? I thought that I did, but nothing happened. We could create a whole load more fake intelligence units, and that would be kind of funny. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop decrypting for Germany. And I'm going to start decrypting the Soviet code in preparation for another war. Because we all know that's about to happen. And I'm looking forward to it, frankly. Because the achievement that I'm going for... What's it called? Actually. Uh... Not Tour de France. Reach 1948 as France without capitulating or surrendering. That would be fun. No, I don't need the little Entente. There's something if we become a monarchy and go for Moscow. Reach 1948. No, not Vichy France. 51 subjects. That'd be fun. There it is. Second time's the charm. As France, occupy Moscow while Napoleon VI is your country leader. That is indeed what I would like to see happen. See if it's feasible or not. Let's see if we can free Bohemia. Yeah, see, we're getting a little bit there. Hey, Kingdom of Bohemia. You thought that I forgot about you, didn't you? But you were wrong. I love you. Mwah. Right. So when do we end this? 39%. I think we keep going as long as we can. And what we do, probably now, is stop pushing up here. And instead, we're going to move our offensive units down this way. And we're going to push up to Budapest. The war's not over until we take them out anyway. Why can't you create a front line? What? Okay, I don't know what's going on over there. That's you. weird. You guys set up over... Ah, dang it. Over here. And your offensive line is to push down this direction. We're going to try to take out... Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, anything... Oh, hello. Anything that lets me get a lot more war score. The Italians still shouldn't have very much over here. I'm surprised they actually were able to push through this. But the Germans sure as heck ain't going to help them. So we should be able to clean this up, especially if I just take this port. It's not like it's actually a big deal. I'm just kind of surprised that it happened. All right. Yes, I think that is the plan. We need to be setting up for our war against the Soviets, and that means I need to take as much out of this as possible. 52% war score, in my opinion, is nowhere near enough. We are going to try to take out the Hungarians and the Romanians and the Bulgarians and so on, get as many casualties going on our side as possible. And then when the time is right, unless we mess up and accidentally take too much from Germany, which we're actually very close to doing, um, we'll capitulate the German Reich. That will be the goal. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and see what it is.